Hey, if you were a vegetable, you would be a cucumber. Ha! Just want you guys to know that's for the 0.04% of the female audience. It's also for the boys too. You guys know. It's for the boys. You're all cucumbers out there. We're all cucumbers, boys. Today we're going to be talking about uh oh, oh, uh my new my like favorite blitz teams that i've been using recently they change all the time so like I'm, i usually make this video like once a month because i'm always uh just like building up and using and making new teams so this is a like you know again i like i said i make this every month i made this for last month i made it for the month before but there's always like new teams and stuff so here we go first team that i've really been enjoying recently is asgardian so you might be saying what the heck is this well i don't have heimdall so i'm using mercenary ragguard in place of heimdall and then i obviously don't have sif because nobody has sif unless i have no idea what i'm talking about by the time this video comes out people probably will have sif because i'm recording this early but i'm probably going to use this over christmas so anything that i say that is like dated on it i apologize these are still my favorite blitz teams for december so I'm using Nobu because he has a 10% revive chance that goes to all allies. And uh, if you happen to get lucky when Greg gets defeated, if he gets revived, Hella will also summon another one. So you can have multiple Gregs on the field and it gets real crazy. So that's what this team is. Uh, again, when I get Heimdall unlocked, I'm going to toss him in there. And that'll be this team. And then, of course, when I get Sif unlocked, I'm going to toss her in there. But in the meantime, Nobu is a fine replacement just in case on that off chance. He's better than just anybody else generic. And he doesn't really have a home because hand sucks. It's fine. It'll work out. If you guys haven't tried this, um, but you have Heimdall, I would just say try putting Nobu in there. I mean, on the off chance, I mean, again, who else are you going to put in there? I'd love to know who you guys are using in replace of Sif and Heimdall right now. Uh, let me know. It'd be interesting to know. Let me know in the comments. So I, for the longest time, did not use Ultron in Blitz, except for with X-Men. And then when I took him out of my X-Men team, I didn't use him anywhere for like probably a month. And I was like, what the heck am I doing? I'm not using Ultron in Blitz. Like that's dumb as heck that's just an extra win i could have so i have him in here i put him with loki because i like the stealth that he gives and plus i mean it doesn't really matter i mean good teams kind of have crossover these days uh in blitz so i don't really mind using a couple uh, charges you get 100 for free every day anyways and i never go hard uh the reason why this team works is because right away uh drax is taunting and then ultron summons his minions then hand sentry stealths everybody then loki can stealth everybody and then uh, Mantis can keep everybody healed up. The team works really well for just letting Ultron carry, which is kind of the point in this team because in Raid knows this wouldn't really work, but in Blitz, it does work out really well. This is also an option for a decent defense if you're not going to be building as Guardians because as Guardians will obviously need Loki, but if you're not, then this will work just as well. Obviously, Supernatural, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about them because you guys already know that I'm constantly raving about them. They're they're super good and a lot of fun and I love them. And if you haven't used them yet, you need to use them. You guys want to hear something ridiculous? So I made the comment about Ultron before. I have never used a full X-Men team until a little bit ago, like a week or so ago and uh, maybe two weeks or so. And because I just never leveled up Psylocke. I, for the longest time, I had Storm leveled up for old raid content, Wolverine. I just started leveling up when I heard that X-Men were going to be getting Phoenix. And I was like, well, he's probably going to be good with this team. And he's aight. Obviously, Phoenix is incredible. I have her, you know, maxed out, T13, and, you know, all the all the jazz. Uh, Colossus, I recently started building up maybe a couple months ago because I was like, well, I mean, I might as well for Blitz. And so he's pretty good. I think he's at tier 10. The problem is, is that, like, I have him at six red star or five red star, but I can't, you can't farm him. So he's like <laughs> two gold star, five red star right now. So that's kind of frustrating, but hopefully I will be able to get more of him soon. I guess we're just going to, uh, you know, find out uh, eventually whenever Fox Next decides to make characters regularly farmable like other games do. <laughs> and then, of course, we have Psylocke. Uh, I mean, you know, got to have her in there. I never used her before at all, ever, until, like I said, about a week or two ago, and I leveled her up because I just wanted to use her. So I used to have people on my Twitch streams all the time get mad at me for not having Colossus and Psylocke leveled up, and then now, so if you're here, it's finally done. It's only taken six months or a year or however long Phoenix has been up. So I really like this team a lot. Uh, I'm sure you guys are just like shaking your head at me. Just like, how does this dude never play with this team before? Like he makes videos. We watch his videos. He's never even done this before. So whatever. Okay. Just get off my back. I did it now. So you can't say anything to me. So suck it. This team is so fun for Blitz. So Ultimus got his rework recently and you know so here's a problem though so there's there's like a little bit of a problem is that Ultimus gets most of his bonuses from playing with non-minion Kree 
Now you might be saying, well, why is Cree Cyborg in here? Well, Cree Cyborg shares some bonuses uh, just eventually very quickly. If you don't already realize that when Ultimus gains a buff, uh, Cree Cyborg also gains the same buff. And so that's pretty strong, uh, like actually really strong, especially with the way that Ultimus works now because he can steal buffs with his, uh, he can clear and steal buffs with his special ability. It's pretty cool. And then he takes them for himself and then also Cyborg gets them. I'm not really sure I understand the synergy with Cyborg. I don't know why they didn't just give that synergy to Korath, but maybe I guess they probably never interacted. That's the interesting thing is that Ultimus has never, or has, uh, sorry, take that back. I'm talking about things I don't know. Let me say this better, boys. Has Ultimus ever interacted with any of the current Kree characters in the game? Let me know in the comments because I don't know and I'm curious. So this team's a lot of fun. Again, it kind of takes away Captain Marvel and Minerva don't really belong. They belong in other teams, but I put them here because it just because that's how Ultimus's bonuses work. Now, I don't know. I mean, it, it you can just use charges to use them with the other teams like you normally would, which is fine. Uh, I don't know overall, is this the best team? I don't really know. It's something I think about a lot, like Fox next giving us, like, I don't know, like, I'd be interested to know if there's like a better team because the, the one complaint I do have about this, and I talked about it in my Ultimus video, is that they did say Ultimus would be as strong as Ultron, and he certainly is not in any way because he has to be with a very specific team and he cannot carry himself at all. He needs that team to be with him to do anything. And so it's a bit of a disappointment. I don't know if there's going to be a better team that he's supposed to be with, or maybe like we're not understanding his true potential or anything like that. That's why I want to test it and see. So that's why mine's at uh, tier 13 now. I put the uh, T4s on his passive just to see what that would be like. So obviously we got all this stuff, the high block chance. So Ultimus has like... I think if you run him with a full non-Cree minion team, he has like 85% block chance or something, which is crazy, but he gives everybody else 20%, so 20%, 20%, 20%, based on, you know, also their base level. Some characters have a base level of 15, you know, 10, 15, 20%. In fact, it would be interesting to see what Captain Marvel and Minerva do have. Okay, so she has 0% block chance, and she has 0% block chance, but so with Ultimus, he starts off with 20% block chance so if you add all this other stuff from his passive ability here you know it's crazy right so he gains 10 percent per non minion Kree ally so if you had the other four and then it takes it up to 60 percent but then he also gains 20 percent just off the bat so again like i said he can be at 80 if you have the full team now you're not gonna have the full team because you're gonna run Kree uh Cree cyborg so but anyway so puts it up to 70 percent to block everything every single attack that goes to him he has a 70 percent 70 percent chance to block i don't even know what to do about that he also gives all this extra health and stuff anyways this is kind of becoming like a uh, ultimate spinoff we already talked about this in another video but i love that team because of him it's it's fun again it's sad because he's not ultron level but i digress I digress, boys. I would love to hear what your guys' current favorite Blitz teams are. Let me know uh, where you're at. I'd love to hear how people are using Marauders in Blitz because I have not had the chance yet since I don't have Mr. Sinister unlocked. I don't know how many of you guys have him unlocked, but I do not yet. Uh, let me know. I'd love to know how Marauders are doing right now. As always, make sure to smash the subscribe button. You guys don't want to be missing videos, especially because we're pumping them out recently and they're great. I love them. I hope you love them. We all love them. Much love. Love you a long time, baby. Oh, ho, ho. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. That really helps me out. Let's me know that you do want more of what we're doing. And like I said, leave a comment of your guys' favorite Blitz teams because I would love to know about them. And as always, say peace out to Marty. Goodbye. All right. Uh, brother fist. Hey.